What's up YouTube? Fall Freak here. And today I am going to be counting down my top 10 enemies from all the Fallout games minus Fallout 76. There's not going to be any Fallout 76 enemies on this list. They'll all be from Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 4 or a combination of the three. And there's also not going to be any legendary enemies on this list, so that means no Super Moon Behemoths, no Mire Lurk Queens, no Rat Scorpion Queens, no legendary Cazadors, and no legendary Death Claws. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. At number 10, we have Blood Bugs. Blood Bugs can be found in Fallout 4. These usually travel in packs. They are like mutated mosquitoes in a way. They have this proboscis or probus or whatever right here. And like I said, they're they're like uh, mutated mosquitoes. They travel in packs of usually three, four, or five. So if you uh, tend to hunt any of these, be prepared to hunt a pack of them. And um, sometimes they get close to the uh, TV and give like a 3D effect of sucking your blood. And then they spit it back at you and it's irradiated blood once they um, suck it in and spit it out at you. It becomes irradiated blood and it can really affect you in a way. And these things are pr a pretty big pain in the ass in my opinion. Coming in at number 9, we have fire geckos. Fire geckos can be found in Fallout New Vegas. And these things... Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the best way to kill these things. Well, the best way to kill blood bugs are with guns. The best way to kill these are probably with guns as well, because if you get too close, they can breathe fire at you. And these are probably the most powerful geckos in the Fallout New Vegas video game. You have the regular geckos, you have the golden geckos, and then you have the fire geckos. I believe that's all of them. And yeah, fire geckos are by far the most powerful of the uh, three that I'm aware of. And look at these spikes at the top too. Wow, that is insane. Glowing orange eyes and just ready to breathe fire at you. These things can be a major pain. And I think they travel in packs of either two or three as well. Coming in at number eight, we have the Yao Guai. Yao Guai can be found in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. These are mutated bears. And these things are very, very loaded. And uh, I'd say the best way to kill these is probably with guns. Um, you don't want to kill them with melee weapons because they can slash you and just pounce on you and just tear you to bits. And these are, yeah, pretty, pretty much a big pain. Look at these teeth, though. Look at these claws, too. Man, definitely a mutated bear and definitely a bear that you do not want to encounter in Fall 3 or Fall 4 because especially in Fall 4, they can just tear you to bits. Coming in at number 7, we have the Mire Lurks. Mire Lurks can be found in Fall 3 and Fall 4. This is a Fall 4 Mire Lurk. The best way to kill these are also with guns, but it's very difficult to kill them with guns because they have this big shell for a lot of defense, and when you try to shoot them with guns, they will lower the shell so you can't shoot them in their tiny head, which is right here. You can mainly get their claws or their legs so they're they can go mobile. They even have these smaller claws right here. And these are mutated, I would say, probably hermit crabs, I guess. And yeah, these are definitely a, a defensive powerhouse, but they also pack offense if you get too close to them. Definitely go at them with guns, even though the shell might get in the way of their head. Coming in at number six, we have Rad Scorpions. Rad Scorpions can be found in Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. That's right, all three games. They have this little stinger right here, so you definitely do not want to get too close to them. You definitely want to kill these guys with guns, because if they, if you get too close, they will try to sting you, and their stings are poisonous, so they will deplete your hit points over time. Probably not all of your hit points, but uh, at least a third of them, maybe half. I don't know, but you definitely don't want to get stung by these guys because their stings are poisonous, and they tend to travel in packs in Fallout New Vegas, but they usually go go alone in Fallout 4. This is a Fallout 4 Red Scorpion, and yeah, definitely go at them with guns. Coming in at number 5, it is a tie between Super Mutants and Nightkin. Super Mutants and Nightkin are essentially the same thing. Super Mutants can be found in Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. The best way to kill these guys are a combination of the two, actually. If they 
if they have guns, you want to go at them with melee weapons and circle around them because these guys tend to move rather slow. So go at them with melee weapons if they have a gun, but go at them with a gun if they have melee weapons because their swings truly deplete a lot of your hit points depending on what they're wielding. The reason I put the Nightkin a little bit ahead over the Super Mutants is because I think they're tougher in the sense that these guys possess what is called a Stealth Boy, and what a Stealth Boy does is it makes you invisible. So until they're about to attack, you cannot see them. Once they do attack, you can see them just barely, and it shows a quick glimpse of them so you know where they are for a short amount of time, but then once they don't attack anymore, they tend to be invisible uh, once again, and they, uh, and they, they, these guys are just pandy ass, honestly. But um, go with these guys, I would say, with melee weapons because you won't be able to see them if you're trying to shoot them. And I don't think it picks up vats very well if they're invisible either. So definitely go with these guys with melee weapons. Coming in at number four is the Sentry Bots. Sentry Bots can be found in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. They might be able to be found in Fallout 3, but I do know they're in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. This is the Fallout 4 Sentry Bot. The best way to kill these guys is definitely with guns. More specifically, uh, energy weapons. I would say either laser weapons or plasma rifles. Um, because if you go at them with bullets, uh, look at all this armor. It will be very, very difficult to kill them with a bullet gun. And <laughs> melee weapons, come on, seriously, don't go ahead with melee weapons, that, that's, that's just a death wish waiting to happen. Yeah, um, these guys are definitely a defensive powerhouse with, um, with machine guns right here and right here. I don't know if they have a laser right here, I'm not sure, I can't really remember, but yeah, definitely go at, the, go at these guys with either a laser rifle or a plasma rifle. Definitely use energy weapons against these guys. Coming in at number three is the... Assaultron. Assaultrons can be found in Fallout 4, and you will definitely want to go with these guys also with energy weapons like plasma rifles or laser rifles, laser guns, things of that sort, because this is another defensive powerhouse, and trust me, you do not want to get hit by this thing right here. This is their laser, and it will deplete your health tremendously, even if you get hit by it in like for like a tenth or two tenths of a second. This is a death wish waiting to happen if you get hit by this laser, and they also have these claws which they can stab you with if you get too close, so go at them with guns as well because you, do, you definitely do not want to get too close to these things. Coming in at number two, we have the Cazadors. Cazadors can be found in Fallout New Vegas only. These things are like heavily mutated, what are they called, tarantula hawks. Tarantula hawks have this black body right here, and they have these orange wings. These things are a huge pain in the ass because they always travel in gigantic packs. The shortest pack, or the smallest pack that I found in these in Fallout New Vegas was a pack of either three or four, and they are very tough to kill because of their erratic flying pattern. If I were to go at these guys, I would definitely want to go at them with guns, and I would shoot at their wings, so they will lose their ability to fly. But definitely don't get too close, because they have this butt stinger right here, and if you get stung by it, you are going to be poisoned. And the bad thing about it is their poison is twice as strong as a rad scorpion, so you will probably lose at least half, maybe even two-thirds, or all of your hit points depending on how many hit points you have left. Definitely do not get too close to these guys. Stay away, shoot the wings, and you should be fine taking these guys down. Coming in at number one, I think you all know which creature it is by now. Number one is none other than the Death Claw. Death Claws can be found in Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. The Death Claw, believe it or not, is actually my um, inspiration behind the slasher creature in my book, Doomsday. Look at these guys. Look at these claws right here. It's like scythes in a way. Same thing with their toes. And look at these horns, man. It's like a devilish figure. These things are by far the toughest regular enemy to take down in all of the Fallout video games, especially Fallout New Vegas and definitely Fallout 4. This is a Fallout 4 Deathclaw, of course, 
and you definitely want to steer clear of these guys if possible. You do have to fight one and fall four towards the beginning of the game, but that's kind of inevitable because it's to um to complete one of the main storyline objectives and just you'll definitely want to steer clear of these guys minus that uh one instance because you, it's it's a sure death wish unless if you are at a very high level or have very very powerful weapons or guns you'll definitely want to go at these guys with guns because it's pretty much a death wish if you try to go at them with a melee weapon. <laughs> It'll do nothing. Look at this armor right here. Look at this uh, defensive powerhouse right here. It's just amazing. Look at that. Uh, these guys are just a huge, huge pain in the ass. But those are my top 10 Fallout enemies. Hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what your top Fallout enemies are. And if you think I missed any, please hit me in the comment section below and let me know which ones you think I missed, which ones I should have added. And just, uh, yeah, just make sure that you let me know which ones you liked. And if you liked this list, uh, there will definitely be more top 5 lists than top 10 lists on my Fall Freak channel. But for right now, you have to always remember that war, war never changes.